Hi guys, this is a video on how to create a website like Mega-Byte.tv. This has been a question that's been asked quite a lot recently. For those of you who still don't understand what Megabyte TV is, it's a place to go to find other people who are making tutorials and technology videos. And to people who are making those tutorials and technology videos, it's a place to go to post them and share them so people know who you are. So there are two main things you need to have a website. The first thing is a domain name. That's the thing that you type into the address bar to access your website. The second thing is a host. That's a place to upload your files which then get accessed when you type this web address in. So I have my domain with GoDaddy and I have my hosting here with apt-host. I'll provide a link to this host in the description if you want to have exactly the same thing as me if you're looking to have a video powered site. Because don't think you're going to be able to get this for free. If you have uh, if you want to get a free domain and a free hosting and you want to try and put this on, it's just not going to happen. The main reason is that your host needs to have FFmpeg hosting enabled, so it needs to be able to stream and convert video on the host. And chances are free hosts aren't going to allow that. So I recommend apt-host. Again, I'll leave the link to that in the description. Two things to consider when you're creating your video sharing website is the disk space and the bandwidth you're going to use. My suggestion would be to start small. We have a Power 5 Plus here, Power 25, that has about 100 gig of bandwidth and 250 gig. I'm, however, on the Power 75 Plus plan. Uh, that's because my website is using up quite a bit of bandwidth, even though it's streaming quite a lot of videos from YouTube. So as a rule of thumb, on my website at the moment, I have 261 videos, 166 users, and if I go to the statistics, which I'll talk about how to get in just a second, I'm actually using 3.26 gigabytes of bandwidth already. So on this Power 75 plan, I've already used 3 gig in just a couple of days of the website being fully up and working. And so if you're just starting a website and you don't, not many people know about it, start small. You might as well. You don't want to pay for the bigger plan if you don't need to. So start small and then consider working your way up. You can always upgrade if you need to really on most hosts they offer upgrading and you don't have to pay the full price of the, the uh, new hosting plan. You just should have to pay for just the difference in upgrading. Okay, so once you have your domain and your host, you should have something like this. It's called cPanel. It's the place to go to manage pretty much everything to do with your website. It's very, very easy to use. So you can see we've got account settings, special offers. We've got things to do with mail here. So I actually have my mail redirected to Google Mail. So I use that through the MX entry icon, which I'll talk about later if you need to know. Uh, files, this is the place to make accounts so people can upload and download files. Uh, we've got logs here so you can find stats on your website. If I'll just show you the stats we've got here. Just view. And it's very in-depth stats as well, so really good stuff. So you can see that it's not been up long. Already I've had, in a couple of days, 813 unique visitors. So very good stuff and uh, very in-depth if you need to really know who's visiting your website. So going back to the C panel, if we can just go back. Uh, you can see we've also got security if you need to password protect, protect certain things. Control your subdomains, subdomains being, for example, um, hello dot blah blah dot com. So that's really useful stuff. And databases. Now you're going to be accessing this when you're creating the website, which I'll demonstrate in just a second. You've got some software here as well if you need it. Some auto scripts. Now if you're uncomfortable installing this yourself, this is the software that's going to allow you to have a website like megadashboy.tv. Uh, Aptos themselves do offer a service to do uh, install that script for free, so you can go through them if you really don't want to mess about with it, but if you want to have everything done right now, then you can follow my guide. Okay, so you have the domain, you have the host, and you have cPanel access. The next thing to do is think about what you're going to put on the site. So there are some video sharing scripts available that you can download. Most popular, I think, is PHP Motion. This is the demo of it. On all of the websites, you can view a demo. So you can see this is what it looks like. You can have audio, you can have images, blogs, groups, blah, blah, blah. Clip Bucket is very good if you want to have the YouTube look and feel. As you can see here, it's very, very similar to the old YouTube, if not looking pretty much exactly the same. So that may be worth getting. These both are free. However, the one I'm using is called VShare. Now, this is not free. However, it's not much money either. It's $10. The reason I got this is because there's been a lot of positive reviews on it. And there's a lot of things that you can do with this that you would usually have to pay for with these free sharing scripts. Because the one thing that they don't advertise is that a lot of the add-ons you may really need you actually have to pay for with these. However, a lot of things are included inside vShare. So you'll end up saving so much more money on vShare 
um, then you will be buying extra things for these other sites. So this is a quick look at what vShare looks like on the standard. It is kind of similar to what Megabyte TV looks like, and even if you go to the Megabyte TV website and go all the way down to the bottom, you can see it says it's powered by vShare. You can actually pay to have that removed, however I just keep it on there because I want you guys to know how I'm creating my website, so I always like to be transparent with everything that I'm using. So that is choosing the platform which you want to have your video shared on. Okay, so the following is going to be talking about vShare, mainly because I don't have the other video share and scripts to hand, but they usually follow exactly the same rules. You either download, or buy and download in my case, the zip file or whichever file they have, and then extract it and then you'll find all these different files inside it. These are all the files you need to upload to your web host. I recommend you using FileZilla or any other FTP client to upload it to your website, uh, sorry your server. You'll find all the details for that like the server address and the username and password in your welcome email or you can contact your host if you need to know how to do this. So once that's done, you more than likely will have to do some CH modding or changing permissions. So here we have the installation guide and it says I need to change some permissions. So it's very simple to do. You just look inside your FTP client and then right click and then file permissions or there will be a CH mod option if you need it. So once that's done, you then need to create a MySQL database. So we need to head back into cPanel now and then we need to look for the databases area which is there and then we need to go to MySQL databases. This is the point where you can create a database, obviously, and then you need to create a user for it. So you can see my database here is megabyte underscore mbsmf, no it isn't, it's megabyte underscore vshare. This one's for my forum, which that doesn't really matter at the moment. So vshare. So all you need to do is just make a database name and create it. It's, very, it's as simple as that to create your database. However, you then need to create a user that can access that database. So create a username, create a password, and then repeat it. Obviously, it's not going to be the same because I'm just typing random stuff. And then you need to add the user to the database. So to be able to do this, you just need to select the user, so vshare, and then the database vshare, add, and then that person will be able to access that database. If you ever need to go into the back end of your database to either change something or delete an entry which may be quite useful if you're using a video sharing script if you need to delete a user or a video or something you then need to go into the databases area and go to PHP my admin and then you can see that it should already log me in there we go these this is my uh, database area and if I go to vshare you can see all the different entries that are inside it. It's just a big database of all different config files that are saved by the video sharing script. That's if it loads. Okay, I'll just leave that loading. So that's it, and then you need to run the installer. Obviously, I can't show you because I'm not installing it. And you just then sign in through your admin area, and then you have to delete, obviously, the install folder in case other people try and install it again, and then it will overwrite stuff, and then you change permissions of certain things, blah, 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 blah. So I'm just going to show you the admin area. This seems to still be loading. Right, I'm going to cancel that. Don't worry about that. So this is the admin area of vShare. You can see I've got site statistics here. Very, very good stuff. I've got 166 users, 261 videos. You can upload your logo and watermarks, change your admin password, add advertisements in. However, I can't actually do this. And if you're pulling stuff from YouTube, I wouldn't recommend doing it either because uh, earning AdSense from videos that are being hosted on YouTube or any other sort of advertising would pose problems, YouTube will probably shut down your site because you're using their stuff. So, and the user admin, obviously you can sort out users, delete them, blah blah blah. You can do videos. If someone requests a video through vShare, there's a little button that you can do. Um, you can go here and then you can put it on the front page if you want. You can add the channels in, as you know from my last video talking about channels, let's not worry about that. Add groups, email templates, view polls, packages, uh, reserve usernames, so if your name's, for example, me, Duncan or something, I can reserve it if I want so no one else can take it. I can add pages like terms of use pages, privacy pages, things like that. I can do bulk import of videos. This is just specific to vShare. So for example, if I wanted to import a bunch of videos by me that have a certain thing like if I did cool sites on Megabyte TV, I'll just type in cool sites, uh, mobile phone 2003 or whatever, and then I can take all the videos off there and put them onto my site if I wish. And then this is a service area, this you probably won't need is for extracting videos off other servers, um, importing other videos from other servers, that doesn't really matter. So this is just the admin area, this is vShare. If you want to do any modifications to the look of it, 
I actually have done quite a bit. So you can see on the right hand side I've got uh, the user's avatars when they sign in. That isn't really done by default. And if I go to watch a video that I think I made, yeah, me, and if I pause it, and you can see on the right hand side this isn't usual either. It shows the username, it shows me, my avatar, it shows how many videos I've done. Clicking that goes through. Also you can message me and it shows my website. There's the little area where you can put your video description, tells you where you put it. Very similar to YouTube and all the different social things. And also you've got comments down here. Usually it looks a little bit different. To be able to do this you need to go to the templates directory. If I just reconnect to my server break it first and oh that's because I'm on the wrong one. Let me go to new site. There we go. And yeah, simply go to the templates directory once I log in. There it is templates. Sorry for the wait there. And all these different TPL files are editable, they're all in HTML, so just edit them with your favourite editor and then add whatever you need to. And if uh, you see on my page I've got some extra things. Yeah. Simple as that, really. <laughs> so here you can see it's all set up. If you want to check out Megabyte TV, see how it's done, feel free. If you need any more information, drop me a message. But that's pretty much how you can set up a website like mega-byte.tv. I hope I haven't confused you. Thanks for watching my video. Please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos. And thanks again.